Hey guys, so today I'll be sharing with you a day in the life of a purser of an international airline based in Doha, Qatar. Now, if you are new to this channel, my name is Pia Pai and I'm an international flight attendant for over a decade already. And today I'll be sharing with you what we do basically in the aircraft itself. So here I'm just waiting for my 16 crew as well as I prepare the positions for them before the departure time and after i prepare everything we start our briefing we introduce ourselves where we're from and i give them the positions and the expectations for the flight and then after that we go straight away to the aircraft which normally takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the traffic yes there are a lot of traffic even if we are just in the airport that is because we have so many departures every single day and here we have to be in the aircraft at least one hour before the departure time that includes our safety and service checks as well as the boarding time we also have to be very mindful when it comes to our timing because we're always aiming for the on-time performance and I still believe that that is one of the reasons why we are number one that is because of our on-time performance and after finally reaching the aircraft that's the only time we remove our service items that includes our cabin shoes for the ladies as well as our apron as well as my documents here for the flight After putting my stuff in the compartment, that's the only time I check the toilet's cleanliness. I have to make sure that everything is placed in the toilet, especially when you are in the premium cabin. And then after that, I go straight away and check my jump seat to see if everything is serviceable and if I have all the equipments ready, as well as I check the water level on the screen because I'm not sure that. We also need to check if the interphones are working, so that's why we make a PA check. And after that PA, we do check all of the safety video is working on the screen. I also need to check at the logbook if there is any defects in the cabin and if there is, I normally ask the cabin engineer to have it fixed. This is the reason why we have to be in the aircraft at least one hour before the departure. That is because we need to do our checks if everything is serviceable as well as we need to make sure that everything is ready before we start the boarding. And with that, we only need 20 minutes for us to finish all our checks that includes the safety and security checks. As you may have noticed guys, we're doing a lot of things already here, however, it's still not paid. That is because we are only getting paid when we close the doors and the chocks are off the wheels of the aircraft. I am now finalizing everything here. I'm just filling out the security form and then I will be calling all the crew for their checks. Alright guys, I'm gonna call you in the next 5 minutes for your check. And then after checking with the crew, I'll go and submit the security form to the captain and tell him that we are ready for boarding. Alright guys, boarding clearance is given. Any moment customers will be here. Just make sure you put your hats on please and be at your boarding station. Thank you. Hi, welcome aboard. Customer seated in emergency 
One of the things that I have to do as a supervisor as well is to introduce myself to every customer in the premium class. Privileged club in the wall of Frick of Fly members. As we prepare to depart for Doha, please ensure that your hand luggage has been placed in the overhead storage compartment or under the seat in front of you. We also ask that you switch your electronic devices or mobile phones to flight mode and continue to observe the fast and seatbelt sign. Smoke, including the use of lighters, matches, and e cigarettes, is not permitted on board, including the washer. In the meantime, immerse yourself in the RX1 and flight entertainment system. Continue to stay connected after takeoff using your personal devices with a Wi Fi on board. One hour of free Wi Fi is available for privileged club members. Enroll during your flight to join the privileged club. Digital food and beverage menus are available for economy class customers and can be accessed from the Wi Fi luggage edge. There are individual reading lights as your seat will be for when the cabin lights are dim and we ask that you keep your bubbles with you at all times. Please let us know if there's anything that we can do to make this lot more comfortable. Thank you. Okay. And after checking with the crew, I need to ask the captain if we are clear to close the door. the command of the captain to arm the door that's the only time that we will touch the door and start arming it. When the safety video is done playing and the crew is done with their checks for departure, that's the only time I'll do my last cabin check before takeoff. After takeoff, when the captain recycled the seatbelt sign, that's the only time we take our service items and start changing. After the drinks and the warm knots are ready, that's the only time that we get out of the cabin and start serving the first two customers. And then after serving everyone in the cabin with their after takeoff drinks, then we start preparing the galley for the service. This time, I am guiding the cabin crew how to serve the Amish bush or the palate pleaser in the cabin since it is her first time to serve it. So in every flight, there are certain services that we have to follow. At this time, since we departed a little late in the afternoon, that's why we are preparing these lanterns as well as the olive oil. We also have to check the seat chart every now and then to make sure that we are giving the right request to the customer. Before going out in the cabin, we have to make sure that everything is ready and that the meals are piping hot and that we have to make sure that all the things that we need are already prepared. Here, I'm guiding the crew who would be the first two customers that we will be serving and that everything should be done properly. I'm going out with the linen for the first two customers that we will be serving. Just to let you know, in the business class for Qatar Airways, we serve two at a time. 
not the same with the first class service normally with the first class service we give one person at a time but here it's just a business class so we do give two at a time we normally lay up the table with a table napkin and then we go out with these it is really very important for you to practice finesse when you're serving the customers because you're expecting a five-star service Something about the queue seat is that when we serve the customer, we have to face them. And if they're facing the forward, that means we have to face the back. And if we're they're facing the back, that means we have to face the forward, if that makes sense. And by the way, this is our customer's table layout. And this time we also be giving a still or sparkling water. The still and sparkling water will only be available in the premium cabin. That means in the first and business class. And in economy, we only serve the still water. At this time, the customer only asks for soup without any bread selection. Now it's time to serve the next dish, which is the signature Arabic metze. This is one of the famous signature dishes of Qatar Ways, and it is really very famous for locals and international passengers. This one, I'm serving the cold cuts, which is only available for breakfast. It is a bit tricky when you're serving in the premium cabin and it is a Q-suite aircraft because some passengers are just facing the forward and some are facing the aft and the crew has to, you know, do its thing. Now we will be serving the main meal which is I believe a special meal which was requested by the customer and normally you can request a special meal even if you are in economy if you have any restrictions you can just order online at least 24 hours before your departure. And then after the service, I normally check the cabin if everyone is okay and I turn off the light as well. But I really cannot control it if a customer wants to have something again. It's a dine on demand or you can dine anytime if a customer would like to have something. Sometimes I take over the galley so that the crew in charge can also go and check the pilots. In the business class or the premium cabin, we normally plate all the meals and it has to be in the chinaware. But some of them, they are pre-plated already. So what we normally do is just heat the meals and then plate it. And of course, you never forget the garnish to make it very presentable. There are also flights that are longer than 11 hours and normally these flights are going to the US, Australia or some other parts of the world that needs rest and most of the time what we normally do is that when we have these kinds of flights we go on shifting so half of the crew will be on rest and half will be working and the rest will be depending on the flying time and what i usually do as a supervisor is i ask the crew to finish the service as soon as possible so we could have a little longer rest at this very hour the crew is already in the flight deck and i need to heat the meals so i have to put all of them in the oven while i'm also plating as some of the passengers also wants to have something to eat and then after that i go and do my paperwork this time i am doing the logbook so i have to put 
all the cabin defects on the logbook if there are any and then give it back to the captain so he can sign it. So one customer asked for a cappuccino so I have to make one and we have a coffee machine that actually makes a very nice coffee so we just steam the milk and put the espresso on top. Now it's time to serve the cappuccino with the accompaniment. It was also a little bumpy so that's why I have to broadcast a message to fasten the seat belts on their screen. So now we're heating some of the meals and one crew from the economy asked me if I'm gonna go there to check their meals before they're gonna load it in their cart. But because I was really very busy loading here in the business class, then I have to ask them if they can also check it themselves since they're already very senior enough to know if the meals are hot or not. Now it's time to have my rest and this aircraft is equipped with 8 bunks so normally we have 8 crew members who will be occupying the bunk and then what we normally do is we just remove our uniform and change to our sleeping attire. Some of the crew they don't like going on an ultra long haul flight even if there is a rest and that is also because when you are assigned in the first shift and you are not really that sleepy and you are forced to rest, then that's the time that it will be harder or it will be a very challenging time for you to take a nap. In each bunk, we have also a very comfortable pillow and blanket as well as the bedding. So we just have to set it up ourselves and then After I finish my rest, I go and take a break and have something to eat and sometimes there are meals available in the business class that the customer doesn't want anymore so we take it. And then after of course we have to replenish our lipstick so that we are ready to face the customers in the cabin. And this time I have to do my paperwork as a supervisor and since it is a layover flight, I have to do a handover for the next crew. And finally the service is done and now I just have to turn on the lights and finalize everything. So now we are ready to land and I have to check the overall cabin if they're all properly secured by my crew. And of course that includes the economy cabin as well. Now that we are about to land, I have to double check with the crew if they're all seated in their jump seat and that the cabin is secured for landing. It has been a pleasure taking care of you today and we thank you for choosing.
choosing to fly the Qatar Airways and the Wawa Alliance. Qatar Airways going places together. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to ensure a smooth disembarkation process, we have been reseated and so we will have a new hostage. We would also like to take this opportunity to apologize for the late arrival of this aircraft and for any inconvenience we may have caused. Thank you and a very good evening. Captain Thunder, who's on? Um, they didn't say anything, but I will ask them again. This is Christina from L1 Station, L1. 